Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tai Chi in the Park with me, Li Fu, director of Four Dragons Tai Chi. And we are here again at Evelyn's Park. And I'm so excited to share today's practice with you. We're gonna be focusing on the golden ball Tai Chi form. And this is a very healing practice to help bring in vital energy into the body and circulate it through our Tai Chi movement. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. Over here, we are uh, a little bit chilly, a little bit windy today. <clears throat> so we're gonna have a little bit more intense warm up than we normally do in uh, the warmer months of the year. But let's start with our feet, shoulder width distance apart. Inhale the arms up and exhale, sinking and relaxing. Letting the breath elongate. Let the body relax. Let the mind rest. And just allowing the body to open up. All right, and bring your hands together in front of your heart, warming up the hands, rubbing them together briskly, opening up the fingers and rubbing in between the fingers, rubbing the webbing. And bringing the fingertips together and tapping the fingertips, making sure that we get blood flow all the way to the tips of the extremities. And this can even guide chi to the tips of the toes. So as above, so below, what we do with our hands resonates down to the feet. If we just recognize that connection All right, and rub the hands together again, getting them warmed up. And rubbing the back of one hand. And then coming up the arm, rubbing the forearm briskly. Sort of warming up from the outside in, encouraging more blood flow and stimulating that. Coming up to the upper arm, the shoulder area. And then coming down the inside of the arm. back to the hands. And rubbing the outside. And maybe there's an area that needs a little bit of extra stimulation. Feel free to take your time. Move at your own pace. And encouraging energy and blood flow to go down the inside. Rub the hands together again. And 
and rubbing the lower back. Good morning, everyone. And take a few deep breaths here, and we're just gonna take our time here. So just sharing a couple little tips. So there's, there's two ways to keep the body warm in the winter time. One is to have warm boots and a warm hat and that will keep the heat uh, circulating between the head and the feet. The other option is to tie a warm scarf around the kidneys, around the waist, keeping the middle warm and letting everything from here extend up and down into the body. So there's equal and opposite solutions to any situation, or you could do all three. <laughs> All right, so now that we've warmed up the kidneys, let's take a deep breath in and exhale, going down the legs, down the outside, bending the knees, opening the hips and lower back and coming up, circling down the backside. And up the front, up the inside. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up. Let's do that a few more times. last one here and just know that you don't have to go all the way down to the feet you can go to the knees or anywhere in the lower leg all right and just rub the belly on each side of the navel relaxing this area allowing the breath to move deeper into the body Let's start with a gentle twist. Coming from our Hun Yuan practice, softening the knees, gently twisting at the waist. Toes, knees, and hips stay pointing forward as you rotate the rib cage. Generating circling or spiraling energy in the waist. Now let's reverse. Moving slowly with control. Easing into our day. Into today's body with today's energy all right now let's reverse this time twisting a little bit deeper extending a little bit further Letting the body know that it is safe to open up and release. That we're moving in a calm, relaxed way. And reverse. And coming back to center, stepping the feet out a little bit wider, toes pointing out. We're going to lay the foundation. Hands coming together.
Bending the knees, sinking down through the spine, through the hips, and inhale, rise up. Exhale, sinking straight down, shoulders stacked over hips, bottom of the pelvis, reaching down parallel to the ground. Feeling that alignment through the spine, and that oppositional force between the head and the tailbone. And now we're going to reverse the movement, closing the earth, crossing at the wrists, opening the sky. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale as you rise up. Letting your eye gaze slowly lower with the arms. And rise up as you rise. one all right and relax rise up come into a comfortable stance and we're just going to gently tap the body again with a little deeper twist tapping around the waist And then bringing up to the shoulder and to the bottom of the rib cage. And then coming up on top of the shoulder. unwind and we're going to shake shake the arms and then start to shake the whole body bending the knees and maybe going to one side and then the other kind of having fun with this part and this can really help to release a lot of tension all right, and shake your knees forward and back. And shake the knees in and out like you're quaking in your boots. And then shake everything, shake it. All right, and take a deep breath in. And it really feels good. To shake off that excess stress. A 
helps you bring a smile on your face. Helps you bring in more energy into the body. All right, let's begin our Tai Chi practice. So, golden ball tai chi form let's start with our feet together they don't have to be touching together they can be as far as two fists apart if you need to for balance but just finding a comfortable position for your feet to be underneath your body and we're going to start with just the footwork taking a nice deep breath in and feeling the extremities feeling the top of the head extending reaching up and the soles of the feet sinking down into the ground this is how we prepare for our tai chi our qigong practice so this is this oppositional force to create opening and a gentle type of tension versus a restrictive type of tension so retraining the body as to how tension can be beneficial to us if we use it in the proper way. So taking another deep breath in. We're gonna exhale and we're gonna sink down, bending both knees and you're gonna shift your weight into your right leg in order to step out to the side. Toes are even, feet are parallel and we sink down into a high horse stance like we're getting on the horse. All right, so let's try that again. Bringing the feet together, raising the stance, and making sure that while we're in a high stance that our knees are not locked or pushing back. They're still soft, open, ready to move. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, we sink, shift right, Step left and sink as you exhale into your high horse stance. All right, one more time. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink, shift, step out to the side. And on an exhale, sink down. All right, and rise up. So let's put the arm work over it. Very simple, we're just breathing into the arms, circling them, activating them, bringing them around to the front, and inhaling, wrist up, soft elbows, wrist down, So let's try it all together. Inhale. Exhale, sink, shift, step out to the side. And we inhale into the arms. And exhale, sink into our horse stance, palms facing the ground. Inhale, wrist up. Staying low in our stance and exhale, maybe sinking a little bit lower. Good, and let's try that again. Deep breath in. Feeling the relaxation. Exhale, sink down. Beginning to engage the body in Tai Chi, inhale into the arms, inhale up, exhale down. All right, and one more time. Our commencement form, deep breath in. 
Exhale, sink. Shift. Step. A nice, comfortable step. Inhale. Breathing life into the arms. Breathing them up. Exhale, releasing them down. All right, now relax your arms from here. We're gonna move on to the next step. We're gonna be shifting our weight to the left and lifting the sole of the right foot, rotating on the heel and bringing the foot flat, coming into a bow stance. All right, so we're gonna drill that on both sides. Shift the weight back, turn your toes front, shift, rotate on the heel, shift the weight. So we're coming into an L step. As we shift all of our weight and keeping that leg full, this leg is empty, free to move. So if we carry weight on our empty leg, it should be completely empty, but if we carry weight, it will put a strain on that rotation. So we wanna take weight off of the leg so that it can move freely with very little resistance. And we wanna stay on this lowered plane with our knees always a little slightly bent. We wanna to try to resist the urge to come up. However, if our legs do get tired, we can always raise the stance and relax for a moment and then settle back down into it. We wanna stay on this lowered, even plane, shifting hips forward Shifting back. And now we're gonna move on. Shifting weight over the center of your right foot. We're gonna post. But our post is gonna be an L step. So one foot is pointing to the right, one foot is pointing forward, okay? So let's take it from the beginning. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink. Shift just the footwork here. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Now we're going to shift left. Open up to the right. Shift over your right foot and post okay let's try that again coming back to the beginning deep breath in exhale sink shift right step left inhale exhale sink Shift left, open to the right. Shift and post. Good, one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink. Shift, step and sink again. Shift, open, shift, and post. All right, so let's work on the arms for this. Starting from the beginning, deep breath in, exhale, sink, shift, Step, inhale into the arms, exhale, sink into your horse stance, inhale up, 
exhale down now as you shift to the left your left hand is going to come underneath the right palm and we open to the right shift your weight and now we're forming and holding the golden ball as we post all right let's try that again two more times from the beginning feet together body in alignment and let's take a nice deep breath in and slowly exhale sink shift step inhale into the arms inhale up exhale down shift left left hand under right open up to the right shift the weight and post all right and let's hold this stance here just for a little bit weight over the center of your right foot left ball of the foot just resting on the ground armpits are open elbows are sinking palms are facing each other okay let's try that again one more time inhale exhale sink shift step inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale form your golden ball exhale shift and post all right and coming back to center taking your feet apart let's end our session with a little meditation on the Shambhala Sun we're just going to continue to breathe and turn the gaze inwards practicing internal visualization and imagination to bring healing and relaxation to the body. So as you stand, you see the sun rising in front of you. And you greet the sun with your unique greeting so opening this connection to a vital source of energy and in our imagination we imagine it Continuing to rise until it comes directly overhead. And as it reaches overhead, Imagining a beam of sunlight radiating down into your body. Clearing out impurities. bringing light into those spaces of 
darkness. And all the different levels of understanding in our physical body, our energetic body, our spiritual body, our mental, emotional body. Just letting that light come in. Letting it energize, letting it infuse. Let's take another deep breath in. And just imagine that you are now filled with this golden light. And let's step the feet together. Inhale the arms up, bringing the palms together. Bringing our hands to come together. And that union of heaven and earth. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. It is so exciting to embark on this healing practice with you all and i hope to see you all again next week thank you to everyone here practicing with us at evelyn's park and thank you everyone who is practicing at home uh, feel free to check out our youtube channel for more videos and until then stay safe take care Dao on wishing you peace on your path